Melbourne and the Adelaide Pros. Football returns to the Northern Territory. What a beautiful night it is. I'm not sure what the temperature is where you're watching tonight. Still 27 degrees here. They want to go straight away, the Crows. They love to go through the middle of the ground. Beautiful pick up from Walker. McKay, Cameron, two pieces here. Took a bounce, took on Hunt. There's some aggression in that. He was going too fast in the end for the kick. Hibbert dispossessed by Cameron. Really well done. Back to McKay. Looks good off the boot. There's your first goal. And McKay's got it for Adelaide. Yeah. They Charge. all got off the back of the square. They all got past it then, though, and that's when it's going to be dangerous. Well, they might get burned out the back here. Look at the turning circle of oh. Walker. Just sensational. Decided to go back on the left and give him the benefit of the doubt. That kick to McGovern. He had the vision and the skill to pull that off the captain. Get around as quickly as anyone for a key position. McGovern's got 32 goals in his debut season. He's adding to his tally there. And the second of the night for the Crows. Kick goals. Umpires tonight, Donlan, Rosebury and Ryan quickly out of the middle from Greenwood. And they're on again here. And Tex Walker involved yet again. Left foot kick. It is perfect. Oh, they're on fire, the Crows. On. Playing the tools and the smalls. And you see Don Pike really backs his team in. Once you're in, you tend to stay in it. They're like Crows. His harms now under some pressure. McKay kicked the first goal of the game. He sliced his way through some heavy tracker. He's got two goals, McKay. Umpire should have probably seen that. Charlie Cameron's had a good start in this game as well. Winning the important 50-50s. Greenwood, Riley Knight. And he's been taken high by Smith. Crows. So a multiple goal kicker in four games this year, Riley Knight. For four unanswered, Riley Knight delivers that. Away and this, sorry, Dars, this is the problem. They get numbers back and they're killing Melbourne on the transition. Hard run from Tex Walker. Jenkins got around the man on the mark. And Tex in great position here. Beautiful play, Jenkins. Great work, Tex. He's got a waltz around <laughs> on his left. He's got time for a bit of a party, Tex. And he bends it through. Tex has got two. And yeah. It's got a chance, but if you just go into a big pack, it's going to be hard. A chance for the Crows again, deep in attack. Quick kick came out of the pack, and Brad Crouch kicks another goal for Adelaide. Here they come again, the Adelaide Crows. Handball over the top for McGovern. He's got time to assess the option. Squeezes a beautiful oh. kick to Jacobs. They've stopped the bleeding here, though, Melbourne. Nearly half the quarter gone, oh, haven't conceded. McGovern allowed to keep running, and then the kick inside to Lynch. It's intensive care with viral meningitis after round... 14. He lost five kilos. Here he is back three weeks later. Considered by some Adelaide's most important player. And that's a very good finish. The Crows have got their eighth goal. Frost in Darwin. Don't often see that. Goes to Brown. Walker quickly. Long ball. McGovern won't miss this time. Well, he could have made a certainty of it. They picked the ball up in the air quicker than most. And Walker had a hand in it. He's kicked two. McKay's kicked two. And now McGovern has kicked two as well. Found Eddie Betts and the crowd love him. Gets a mighty roar, doesn't he? Talia down the line. In fact, it was Atkins. Greenwood. Now the ball towards Douglas, who's been involved in some good things. Handball back to Eddie Betts. Runs to the 50. Unselfishly goes to Lynch. Lynch marks. Handball over the top. Does it sit for Jacobs? Yes, it does. Well done, Eddie. Crowd love the build-up. They will. Sell-out crowd here in Darwin. A lot of Adelaide fans have made the journey up, and they'll be loving what their side's performance looks oh. like tonight. Lynch has been fantastic. Really important part of this side. And a short one to Eddie Betts. And Link the Crows list to have played an AFL game in Darwin. He did that with the Blues. He hasn't missed a game since crossing over the Crows. He's played 84 straight. And he's done a lot of that. Kicking goals. Frost. Well, he signaled he was going to take Brody Smith on. And Brody Smith had him covered, I think, right from the moment that he intended to go for it. Douglas out the back. Jenkins, he's a specialist at this. He'll run into an open goal. And it's all Adelaide tonight in Darwin. And breaking fast is Atkins. Not going to go that fast. Sloan starting to get his hands on the footy. Good tackle, Kent. Changed into Superman in the blink of an eye. 
on his he, feet. He does appear a bit dazed, doesn't he? He's one tough customer, that man, though. He saw the stretcher and he almost saw it as an insult. Let's have a look. He's, oh, yeah. Head bounced off the ground yeah, there. That And he has had a really heavy head knock there, hasn't he? And that was Frost by name, Frost by nature at the moment. And Douglas quickly gets the ball from Charlie Cameron. Well, how crucial are those slips going to be? Jenkins, long lynch marks on his chest. Can go quickly, 55 from home, sets it up, vacant, goal square. There you go. Bounces it through. For me, at the back of the knee hamstring area. Here's Eddie Betts. Could have had the shot, gives it away to Charlie Cameron, gets it back. The old one, two, how good is that? Up the wing, McGovern. Eddie Betts with a little toe poke. Well done, Oliver. Slapped forward by Wagner. Hard at it, Jetta ran into a brick wall. Jenkins sends the ball the other way. Eddie Betts marks. Frost realising the danger, held him up. They're in real trouble if he got away. He's got away anyway, and Walker marks on the lead. To jump to the top of the pile. Rather, Walker to jump to the top of the pile. It's a very good kick. Adelaide going well. And a target in the middle of the ground. And Brad Crouch decides that down the line to walk is a good option. And it's better than a good option. He's had a great night, Tex Walker. Eddie, unselfishly brilliant, as always, to Lynch. Because he runs hard. For his third goal of the night, Tom Lynch directly in front. He kicks through. Margin. Just starting to find his range in the air. Again, he couldn't complete the mark. No, Brody Smith. It's a good ball. You can hear the umpires call the play on. Tex Walker. He loves his left foot. And he kicks another one for the Crows. The captain. He's like Mark Taylor at first slip. You wouldn't know if they're none for 250 or seven for nine. Cameron! Cameron gets high and takes a ripper. 50 metres, I think the Melbourne Park kicked the ball away. Uh, he's been wanting to do something special tonight. Two years here as a young man. School in Darwin. And look at that mark. With Jordan Lewis, the 50s against Jordan Lewis. What a hanger. He can do it all, Charlie Cameron. He plays on quickly. He goes long to the skipper, and now he gets his shot at the handful. Five. Oh, what a, Deserves five. What a mark from Charlie Cameron. So Tex Walker might just kick after the siren here. It's been a good night for the Adelaide Crows. This is where you actually can say you've kicked a bag. Five, I reckon. Well, this would be his biggest output of the season. 5-2 in round six against Richmond. Kicking for his fifth. It's a behind only, but it doesn't matter for the Adelaide Crows. In the top end, they prove they're the top team for now.